Hi guys, Gav from Gav Tarantulas. So I did a poll on uh, Instagram to see what sort of video you wanted to see next. Um, because I think feeding videos, you see a lot of them. I didn't want to just keep bombarding uh, my subscribers with um, feeding videos all the time. Uh, especially because some of the ones that I haven't shown in a long time, I just can't seem to get a good feeding video on them. I'm going to have to show some a uh, collection tour soon so you can see them. Because there's quite a few bigger ones that I've not actually shown on um, the channel yet they just stay in the way out their enclosures they're happy at the back and they just take it off the tongs and you never really get to see them out and lot. so i just tend to put ones on that you can see but i was going to do rehouse today um because that's what obviously everyone wanted to see from the poll but my some bad news the rehouse i was going to do was my all species blue the pan eight earth tiger and with the pan eight earth tiger it's a burrowing species i've got some other burrowing species as well but the problem I had with this one is my Panay has died. And the reason this one's died, because um, the few times I do tank maintenance and uh, check on the tea, this one feeds very well, but never removes the boluses from where it feeds. It takes them right down within the burrow and I can't get to them. Whereas some of my other um, burrowed species or fossorial species, they clean up after themselves so when they're done they seem to throw the boluses the food remains out of their um, hole or basically stick them in a corner for me to collect which is easy but this one on my panne just doesn't always leaves them within the cell living with the the remains of the food and every time I've done tank maintenance and cleaned there's always been some sort of mold within the enclosure this time there wasn't any mold too visual on the outside but it was within the actual burr itself and actually was on the tea and the tea passed away from that but I couldn't check that consistently all the time without destroying the actual burrow and then causing the tea some stress so unfortunately I've lost that tea which I'm gutted about because it was nearly four inches a uh, very good size as well so cleaned up the enclosure and I am going to rehouse with something else so I'm going to sort this out and put something else in there so I will be looking for another one of those species but absolutely gutted with that so for the rehouse today I think I'll do that one you can probably see what it is I've only just rehoused her in here but she's molted um, twice in one month um, she molted well, literally last month in December, but she's already molted again in January. The molt, if you can see, is in there. So twice within one month. And it's my female P. Metallica. And it's in one of these CDs and CD case enclosures that I made. She's doing very well in there, but the rate she's growing, I just thought if I move her in today a little bit bigger, it gives her more room and it gives you a chance to have a look at her well. But she's normally quite calm, this one. So I'm just going to let her out and let her roam in herself so we'll see how that goes. Then I'm gonna rehouse this one, Ruby. She is my white striped bird eater as well. I don't know if you can see her in there. She's getting a little bit too big for that. So we'll give her some more room. So I'll put her into that CD enclosure. So we'll do that out as a terrestrial setup. And then another like bird and species that I've got as well. This one's a sling I've noticed has molted. So I just wanna give this one a bit more room. I technically don't need to rehouse this one yet. Um, because the size of the malt, I don't know if you can see there, you can't see through there, the malt in there is not that big, so he or she can actually do quite well in this a little bit longer. But because I haven't seen this one in quite some time as well, it is my Syro Pagopus SP, Haiti Haiti Purple. So I'm just going to take this one out, have a look at it, just to make sure I can see that this one's still okay. Okay, so the same procedure as what I did last time. Got my catch cup ready, just in case. And I'm literally just gonna let her come out. Normally when I open up, she comes out because she knows I feed her. But today will be the day she doesn't. I think what I'll do is do the same as what I did last time. Give her something to eat, and also she should just come on out.
you can see how that Sorry, you probably didn't see that, but it's just easy to get her in. Move that one out of the way. And there you go. One P Metallica in. I find it a little easier if you just feed them first and then they tend to not strike when you touch them and they just walk straight on in. So I'll give you an update on her as soon as she's settled in. Okay, so in this one is going to be the Nando Chromatis Brazilian Red and White. Just done like a cork bark tube, buried it in, loads of substrate. And uh, this one should be perfectly fine to grow in here for some time. Because I've had them since um, smaller than a centimetre sling Let's see if he will just climb on in See the red and white colours now coming through. Come on, Elroy. Ah, it's not food. There you go, and he's just gone on in there straight away. So that's him done. So let's get on to the Haiti Haiti. Okay, so this is a little container that I'm going to house the Haiti Haiti in. I'll be able to see it a little bit more often I think so let's just see where he is okay so after all that I had to dig right through and I found the little Haiti Haiti so he looks like he's actually in pre -malt. you can't even see him there let's see if I can get a better normally a lot faster but you can see by the abdomen there he's definitely in uh, pre-malt I don't know if the camera's picking that up there but you can see the purple colorations and the ye tiny yellow bands across the legs they're almost like the P Metallica but look forward to seeing this one malt so let's see if I can get him straight in Uh, 
I don't know why all my teas are so calm and slow. I mean, obviously it's amazing that they are, but definitely ready for pre-malt. Glad I rehoused that one now, but normally that's probably why this one's slowed down and is a bit sluggish. But a nice little circular enclosure and it can do like a den inside as my previous species did. So I'll leave that one to get comfortable. There you go, Dwayne, my SP Haiti Haiti.